back to my channel it's jessie here i hope everybody is doing well now as you can tell by the title it's kind of like a drive with me eating some mcdonald's which to be fair i've only got cheese bites and a portion of the small chips um along with a chocolate milkshake because i realized that mcdonald's the burgers, especially like Big Macs and stuff, even though I love nice. them, I don't usually have them all the time. They and don't agree with me, which, to be fair, is a good thing because what? the cheese bites I do actually love and the chips, they're not that harmless, to be fair. Um, they, they're fine. Because I've not ha I've not actually done like a, a sit down chatty video in a while because I've been so so busy the last like few months um yeah i've just not like had a chance to sit down and chat and see where things are at and tell you what's happening and and stuff so i thought you know what a good little chat video like drive with me eat a mcdonald's is what people like to watch i think so how has everybody been what have you been up to me on the other hand i have done so much in the last few months i just can't believe everything that's happened um there's so much to talk about um yeah it it's been wild <laughs> let's have a taste test before we do get into everything i keep dripping everything because it's like melting mm-mm mm. that is amazing that is so so good i'm just gonna leave it down there because oh my word i've put new leggings not new leggings but fresh clean on today and now i've spilled like all water down me like from the cup great it's criminal it's criminal behavior if you don't have barbecue sauce from mcdonald's they're like small cheesy garlic bites which on my days they smell incredible i have been practically everywhere i've been to london i don't know how many times i've lost count this year um for niall in particular and then like i went to london i think like for a day on my own i didn't see niall at all but like just to go into london for like the day which was nice great i never thought that i would you know get the chance to because like obviously i've I've been a Nile fan ever since One Direction was formed on the X Factor in 2010. You know, been there, like supported them. Obviously, I not never got a chance to see them in concert as a as a band. And then, obviously, when they went their separate ways, I still was like loved Niall as much as I did like back in when he was in the band. And his first tour. I didn't manage to get tickets because I don't know what I was doing. I know I was when he did the Flickr tour, like the sessions, Flickr sessions, before he went on actual like tour in 2018. Um, I know I was away in Scotland at the time, so I couldn't get tickets. Um, and then I tried to get tickets, but because I lived in Devon, there were, it was just so far away and like. I didn't have anyone to go with and I was still a bit too young to go like even though I was 18 at the time I didn't feel com felt confident going to places on my own like 2019 was like one of the like the first time I met Niall it's coming up for like four years this month which is just mad the first time I met him and then like two times going to like goal and then this past year it's just been insane and i'm forever grateful of everything that's happened like the things that have happened like mean so much to me right now more than anything because of what i've been through like like emotionally and mentally it just means so much and niall like understands that i think um and he's so so kind so lovely every time i've seen him and met him and like 
he's like we're besties now and he's just mad the radio on big weekend like my plan was only to see him in concert this year once out of everything that's happened because obviously i've booked isle of white back in november when the tickets actually went on sale and then after the cd signing you go down to isle of white thinking that you're just gonna see him in isle of white but no he's on the same street as me as where my airbnb was literally just come out of our airbnb to go into town to get a few bits for isle of white who do we see walk past and i was not mentally ready to see him we was not expecting to see not to be honest in our heads niall wasn't even in our minds at the time because i kind of focus on one thing at a time and if i'm not like focusing on something that's important to me whether that's Niall or something else, that's all I ever focus on. So my thought was, right, I need this in town, I need this, I need food. Come back to the, like, Airbnb. That's how I process things. Um, seeing Niall, like, literally as we'd come out of our Airbnb, walked down this little street to the main, to the main road and him on the corner just everything left me which i still can't believe actually happened that was so funny so so funny we were all laughing me niall and lynn were all laughing together and walking down into town together just talking and like couldn't believe that we'd you know all seen each other so funny isla white was amazing like right at the front absolute incredible performance for the whole hour that we had with Niall, like it was amazing. It was a great lineup on the Sunday. Um, yeah, it made the day go really quick. To be fair, and then I've been to Cornwall. That was good, despite the weather. Managed to get to Watergate a couple of times. Would have liked to have gone more, but it's fine. We can always go next year. And now I'm here. So things that are going off then like planned wise like going through to the end of the year and then into next year there's a lot of things that i'm planning and stuff and trying to save up for close to autumn time now which to be fair the weather thinks it's already early autumn um it feels like september already to be fair you know that like where it's still kind of warm but the weather is just grey and miserable and always raining it's that weather in august so and july we've not had a, a summer yet to be fair obviously autumn time is like one of my favorite times of the year like love love autumn like it's my favorite season i love it so much it's like that cozy but like you know aesthetic vibe i love so the things that are happening from september there's a few things that's happening in september i have my family coming up so obviously they live in devon they're coming up obviously i won't film about like around that time but we are going to towers as a family but then also i will be vlogging like october first because that starts in some in september like towards the end of september i think it is like in the middle and then up until like scarefest so we'll be doing that then at the end of september i'm doing my first late night riding of this year in the space of two years i think i haven't done a late night riding in ages at blackpool um and my first time visiting blackpool for this year anyway because i've not been since I think it'll be nearly a year to be fair when i last went blackpool for me is not a park that i actually enjoy anymore it was all right in like when did i first visit 2021 that year was really good like visiting a couple of new parks it was like a bucket list park that i've always wanted to go to 
but since last year and like this year of every time i see it on socials and stuff it's not a park that i re that i'm actually into and it is really sad because the only thing that i love there is icon and if icon was at a different part like say like towers or thorpe i wouldn't go to blackpool pleasure beach um just because like it's not a part that i actually want to go to like all the time so obviously once a year is fine and it is expensive like i know like 40 quid is not like expensive to many people but it is to people that like like me that can't really afford to do a lot of things each month so yeah that's obviously one of the other reasons that i don't visit like i think i visited like five times in 2021 and that was a lot of money even though i didn't have like an annual pass so and obviously it's not a park that i want to have an annual pass for because i wouldn't visit as much doing that which i'm looking forward to that'll be nice um and i think a few other people are gonna be there so it'd be nice to catch up with a few friends of mine that i'm not seeing in ages so that's that's good and then obviously we go into october and november october is a month where it's going to be busy because there's a lot of things that i want to do um obviously theme park wise it'll be towers and thorpe and maybe a couple of other things not sure if i'm going to be doing fantasy island this year i would like to but again it's a park that i'm not really that bothered if i don't do it um i wouldn't be like upset or anything it's a part that i that i've only done like a couple of times it like every two years kind of thing um even though it's not that far away um and again it's just like the expensive side it's you know it's not included in a merlin on your pass so i can't really go up like like i do at towers and stuff um but if we don't do it this year i'm sure i'll probably do it at the beginning of next season um so you thought i want to do chessington this year while i'm down at thorpe um do like a day in london chessington and thorpe um so i'm not sure yet but that's an idea of what i want to do is new updates of nemesis guys as well like let me just tell you like the nemesis like updates right now absolutely insane i could be going again one day this week if they start putting in the court screw um the first inversion because i really want to see how they do that um yeah so hopefully i could be going to towers again just for nemesis um and yeah and then it'll be like waiting for next year to be fair obviously i'm so excited because i don't have to wait that long in between like five four or five months like at a time like with the season being closed for the winter and stuff because i have two events that i'm going in february which is when niall starts his world tour which i cannot wait for for the most that i'm excited for is to nemesis reopen honestly i have missed it so much i don't know how i've coped so far we are over halfway if it reopens exactly on opening day which i think it might going by the looks of everything that's happening like the track is nearly in place they're doing a lot of work on the station and then it'll be getting like the tr new trains up and stuff and then running all the tests i think by scarefest i think that's what i've heard a lot of people are thinking oh it'll be open for scarefest this year i'm like nah nah it, it's 2024 it'll be open then um yeah i can't wait i'm so excited let's let's test these on camera shall we and see how like if they're good um let me know what you order from mcdonald's because a lot of people like different things 
Do you go for a big mat like me? Um, do you go for a wrap? Do you go for like a quarter pounder? What do you have for McDonald's? Let me know down below. That is amazing. It tastes like garlic bread. If you like garlic bread, you'll like these bites. That has happened over the last few months. Obviously, I did like a, a similar video a few months ago telling you what's happening, what's coming up. Um, I have practically put everything up that I've wanted to where I've been and videos on my channel already. But there is a few like little shorts that I will probably still put up. What I'm going to be getting up to. So, and if you do see me on park, like on the days, like in, you know, whether I'm at Blackpool on the day that it's, an, I know there's only, I think there's only one um, night ride session in September. I'm not entirely sure. So if you are there and if you see me, come and say hi. I have had a few people come and say hi over the last couple of years. Like, it's really nice. Like, they'll, they'll just say, oh, hi, Jess, how are you? And I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> Don't really know you, but like, hi, how are you? Like, it's really nice, the interaction. It's it's lovely. So if you ever do see me on park, um, or if you ever see me, like, filming and stuff, come and say hi. It's nice to come and chat and know that you support and stuff. It really does mean a lot. Um yeah but without further ado i am going to end it here because this video is going to be far too long um i do hope you've enjoyed this this video of mine um yeah and i will see you in my next one i guess let do let me know what videos you want me to do whether that's like fashion related like autumn content related that you want me to do um this year um yeah i will see you all in my next video bye for now <laughs>